Hey there, this is Marvel.com editor Mark Strom here at a special fan screening event for the season three premiere of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We'll be chatting with all sorts of cast and executive producers from the series. Stay tuned. So, Jeff, going into this season, what right off the bat were some of the things you guys were most interested in exploring? Obviously, in humans, uh, there's been some Secret Warriors teases. Um, and what the heck happened to Simmons? And what did happen to Sim- what did happen to Simmons? That's what we're going to find out. You know, what, what I will tell people is probably not dead because you know then we wouldn't get to hang out with Elizabeth anymore. But whatever happened to it, we will show that and we will explore fully. That it won't be any like, and I'm back, and I'm left-handed, or I'm, she'll come back, or not, she'll come back. There, I said it. It's Marvel, I can say that. <laughs> she'll be back. I won't say when, but we'll see what happened to her, and explore that, and see how last year Fitz changed a lot, Fitz went through something big, this time it's her turn to go through something big. And how has the Inhumans popping up everywhere after the events of last season changed the world and changed S.H.I.E.L.D.'s mission statement for this season? Well, because S.H.I.E.L.D. is no longer an official giant organization, it's, oh, hello there. So, it's E-L-I-Z. Um, I would say that the big thing is, because we have Daisy and we have our own Inhuman group, or trying to, it's become Shield's mission to find those people and either save them from themselves, save others, or sort of help them with the transition in the same way that Daisy had to learn how to transition last year. And what we find out is somebody else is out there with perhaps nefarious purposes also going out. Great thing about Inhumans is great metaphor for us to tell stories, people finding themselves as someone other than they were, how family reacts to them, how society reacts to them. People are afraid, oh, I have powers, I have abilities. So it seems like a really rich area for us to tell stories about. And bringing in the Inhumans so large this season and after introducing them in the second season, it, it introducing them seemed like such a huge thing and it seemed almost like you knew all along and going back a couple years, they eventually, when you get to season three, you know, Inhumans would be a big piece of that. Was that the case? And sort of when did you guys decide to explore that element of the Marvel Universe? Well, the, the way the Marvel Universe is built now, that everybody who's become superpowered has either been scientific mutant, whether that's Hulk or Captain America, build a big suit like Iron Man or our alien like Thor. And so for us to come up with a legitimate transformational process, the Inhumans seem like a great way for us to do it. Rather than operating on a bunch of people or more aliens. So it seemed, and the publishing unit was really interested in us doing it as well, it seemed like a nice fit. We always knew Daisy, the sky was going to become Daisy. So we were always building towards that with her sort of being the point which would eventually lead to Secret Warriors. And in our world, most of those characters, but exclusively, will probably come from the human world as opposed to people who show up with magic powers like they do in the comics. And aside from exploring all the new Inhumans popping up, are, is exploring Inhumans mythology and their past also something that you're interested in exploring? Or are you sort of busy right now just dealing with the Inhumans that are popping up in the present? More about the present. The the royal family is a whole other sort of separate mythology in the comics in a different world that doesn't really exist in a way that we think we can do well on a TV show. It's a, there's too much construct, there's too much mythology. And so, you know, last year we had the afterlife, which had a very limited group of people who knew what was happening. Now we're finding people who don't know about the history, and so individually we can explain and go on, but beyond that, I don't think we want to go into giant historical things. Although there will be enough, I think, breadcrumbs and clues and Easter eggs for people who love the Inhumans.